All right, so we are going to install Bazite on the ROG Xbox. So before we start, I think you need a couple of things. One, you should have uh, a dongle, maybe. So you, you need a wireless mouse and keyboard or a keyboard and mouse to plug in. You're gonna need that. You're also gonna need the Bazite image. So however you wanna get it, um, you just go to the website. It's pretty self-explanatory. I burned this with, uh, so I burnt this with Belena Etcher, which was pretty straightforward. Just download the image, point it to the drive, and wadoosh. I'd also recommend you getting a secondary USB drive that has Windows 11 on it, and I'll tell you why in a second. Um, so we are going to install Bazite on the full hard drive. We're not going to do a split operating system. We're just going to install it on the full hard drive. So we want to boot into the Windows image to begin with. So let's shut down the operating system. And then I do have a dongle back here that I'm gonna put the image into. All right, so when your device is completely shut down, before you power it up, find the power, found the, the volume down button. So you're gonna power it up, continuously hit the volume down button. All right, so that'll bring you into the BIOS. Now you could hit, uh, You could hit the top button here and just boot into, it's gonna be the UFI boot, just boot into the USB, which is the Windows 11 that we're booting into. Now I found this way a lot easier just because I tried to install it a couple times and it's just a lot easier to do it this way. Now, it is kind of hard to see, so let's see if we could zoom in to kind of see what's going on here. All right, so you just want to hit next. Hit next. You want to check off that. Hit next. Of course, you want to agree to that, except. Now, it's going to bring you over the partitions, okay? This is what I'm using Windows 11 for. So everything that has a zero partition, one partition is what you're booted up to. Just highlight everything that has a partition and just delete, okay? We just want to get it all there. And you can see it, it says... At, And it starts add, adding everything to the, the space over here, to the pool of space. So keep deleting until everything's gone. And then you're just left with space and nothing here. And these two you don't want to delete because that's the USB drive. Perfect. So you completely wiped out the whole partition. So let's shut this down again. I'm going to zoom out on this because we don't need to zoom in anymore. And yes. Yeah. So now we can unplug that USB drive that we plugged in. Now this is going to boot directly into the BIOS at this point, which is which is fine. Perfect, right? So that's what we want because there's no operating system. So now you want to take your Bazite image and you just want to plug it in. All right. Now... Now, if you try to look for it, it's not gonna load. So you're gonna to have to reboot it again. So shut it off until it's completely off. Wait probably about two, 10 seconds or so. Then you wanna boot it back up. So again, when you boot up, it should boot directly into the Bazite image.
Perfect. So you want to scroll up one and you're not going to be able to do that with the controller. So this is where the keyboard and mouse comes into play. So make sure you have the keyboard and mouse hooked in. There you go. Hit enter. Yeah, because uh, the controller becomes disabled, the, all the buttons on the controller, except for the touch screen. There you give it a second, and that's what you want to see. Now, we're gonna zoom in, in a little bit because I can't see anything here. All right, so here you just want to go to continue. You wanna come in here to installation destination. And then you'll see that the hard drive is selected. All you have to do here is hit done on the top left. Make sure there's a check mark here, hit done. And that is it. Well, that's it for that part. And then you wanna come here to the user. You want to uh, select a user, let's say deck in this way, and you can name it whatever you want and put a password, whatever you want. Now you definitely want a password um, because this is gonna be the root password to Bazite. And again, once you're done, come here to the top left, hit done. And then you want to come down here to the bottom right and hit begin installation. And that's it. And you're on your way. Now, it's going to take a little bit. All right, so now that is completed. It takes about a couple of minutes. You wanna go here and complete installation. It's gonna reboot. You don't really have to touch anything at this point, just let it do its thing. And we have it, we're starting to see Mr. Bazai trying to load here. And we're looking good and there we have it so obviously we want to select english and we want to pick our time zone in this case i'm eastern 
we'll go one again to the Wi-Fi network. So hold on a second. Actually, I'll just blur it out. Okay, connected to Wi-Fi. Successful. And there we have it. We are on the Steam page now. You just use your phone to sign in. Um, give me a second, I'll come back. I'll make sure I'll sign in. With... And that's it, you are in. So you just follow the prompts. And there's my console. Now your button should work. Everything should be working. You got it here on the side. It's as simple as that. Let's see if I could bring up the. Uh... Oh. Uh, I was pressing enter on my, with my elbow. That's why I was going this way. Nice. So if we want to go here to system, you can see we are running Bazite, latest version, and there's an update to be installed. And that's it. Easy peasy. You're in a fully Bazite. Unplug this, and you're ready to get full performance out of your uh, ROG Ally. So if you like this little tutorial, it's pretty easy. Again, you know, just burn it with Rufus or uh, Bella. Bella Netcher, however you say it, and you should be, uh, you should be good. Here, let me jump into the desktop so you guys can see too. There you go. You're in the desktop. Cool. Anyway, take care, guys.